So, today we will make the front plate for the knife shaft and uh, the most necessary thing is or the, the I choose a pattern that is very slim, not too wide so it gives the whole thing a slim, nice, yeah, a nice and slim view. So I draw the pattern on a piece of one millimeter brass, and now we can start with the cutout. So, and for sure some glasses. Now the marking.
So. That's the knife shaft for now. I only need to color the edge, but the pattern is pretty nice. So now I will make the hanger. For that purpose I cut it a sheet of brass. And now we will bend it to the right shape. That's the belt hanger. It's perfect for a thirty millimeters belt. And now we 
make this edge a little bit smaller so the hanger will have a better positioning. So I made a little chain and this chain we right now fix with the hanger. Whoa. And then we fix the same chain on the chef loop. So that's the belt hanger. And the last step or one of the last steps is here I have a leather strap I simply made a leather strap in the uh, same color splice the ends and I fix it here on the end of the knife shaft So for this I will need a spiral of thin wire. should be rather stiff so otherwise it won't work properly so And then the last step is
So the last step is we are compressing the first and the last circle of the wire and now the strap for pulling out the knife okay, is done as well. And the uh, the belt uh, the belt hanger shall be with this side to body, because then it cannot be pulled out. If it's this side to the body, and the uh, the hanger is lifted, then it's possible to lose the knife. So like this, it's not possible. So now the final sharpening on the whetstone. So, I think we need a piece of paper for the test. cleaning so now the sharpness test For a normal use of a knife that's more than good. So the next thing is uh, final oiling and then everything is okay.